Hey friends, I want to show you how to create a hundreds challenge chart for your friend. You can start by putting your name up top. And if you have a specific friend in mind that you want to give it to, you can write their name up top as well. So I'll say to Brooklyn. Now you want to challenge your friend. You can make any kind of hundreds chart that you would like. You can start on a number like 401 and go all the way to 500 like a regular hundreds chart. You could start at a random number like 354 and fill in all the numbers that go there. You could even start uh, up here with a high number like 926 and go backwards. It depends on what kind of challenge you want to give to your friend. I suggest that you have three cubes to help remind you that you want to skip a couple of boxes. You don't want to fill in the whole chart because then your friend won't have anything to challenge them. So I would say two or three boxes on every row. So I'm going to start out with two boxes covered up. So I'm going to start filling in numbers on my hundreds chart. Let's say for Brooklyn, I want to start with the number 394. And I'm going to keep counting. 395. Now this is 396, but I'm going to skip that box so she can fill it in. 397. 398. 399. This is 400. I'm going to skip that box so she can fill it in. 401. 402, 403. Now I can go to the next row. I want to put my boxes in another place. And maybe I'll put a third one on this row. Alright, 403 is here. 404, 405, 406, 407, 408, 409, 410, 411, 412, 413. Now I can choose if I want to cover up two boxes on the next row, or if I want to cover up three, and I'm going to keep filling in the chart until all of my rows are done. Every row should have at least two empty spaces, maybe three empty spaces to challenge your friend, so they'll have to fill in the missing numbers. When you finish the whole chart, you can give it to your friend. They'll fill in the missing numbers and give it back to you, so you can check and see if they got it right. Have fun!